Hello friends, this video on direct and inverse proportion part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Try to uh, attempt some questions. Before that, let me inform you that there is another way of, of uh, writing in short that two quantities are inversely proportional. So if x is directly proportional to y, we use this symbol. Now if x is inversely proportional to y, then also we use this symbol. But we, instead of writing y, we say it is 1 by y. That means x is directly proportional to 1 by y. So 1 by y is exactly the inverse of y. So if y increases, 1 by y decreases. Therefore x decreases. So similarly, if y decreases, then 1 by y increases, therefore x increases. So this is how we represent inverse relationship between two quantities. Question number 1. Which of the following are in inverse proportion? The number of workers on a job and the time to complete the job. So obviously this is inversely proportional because as the number of workers increase, the time taken to finish the same job decreases. The time taken for a journey and the distance traveled in a uniform speed. So now in a journey, if the distance is not fixed, rather if the speed is uniform, then the car is always moving with the same speed. So the more distance it covers, the more time it will take. So that's obvious. So distance is directly proportional to time taken. So this is not an inverse proportion. Area of cultivated land and the crop harvested. Now more land you have, more crop will get harvested. So this is also a direct relationship. So this is also not inverse proportion. Question number two. Rahman is making a wheel using spokes. He wants to fix equal spokes in such a way that the angles between any pair of consecutive spokes are equal. Help him by completing the following table. So when you say spokes, you mean these kind of lines which divide this circle into multiple sectors. So when you divide it into four spokes, then the angle between the pair of consecutive spokes is 90 degree. That means you basically do it this way. So when you divide it into four spokes, so the complete angle that is this total angle is 360 degree. So each angle is 360 by 4 which is 90 degree. So somewhat like this. So this is how you create the spokes. Similarly when you divide it into 6 spokes then each angle becomes 360 divided by 6 which is equal to 60 degree. So it becomes somewhat like this. So each angle is 60 degree. Now when you divide it into 8 spokes, then it becomes 360 divided by 8 which is equal to 45 degree. So somewhat like this. So each of this is 45 degree. So in this fashion, you can find out the values of the rest too as well. So how is inverse proportional related in this case? So here if you see, 4 multiplied by 90. So in this you establish this relation that 4 multiplied by 90, 6 multiplied by 60, 8 multiplied by 45, all of these values is equal to 360 degree. So which shows that the number of spokes and the angle between consecutive spokes, they are inversely proportional to each other because their product is always a constant. So with this relationship, you can easily find out this value because 10 into this value is equal to 360. So basically this value would be 360 divided by 10, that is 36. Similarly, this again would be 12 into this value is 360. So this value would be 360 divided by 12, which is 30 degree. Question Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.